Hi, Enrique here, and in this video, I'll walk through how to create a linear regression model, how to interpret it, and how to make predictions all within Excel. Now, for this example, we'll be using a dataset of students' employability scores before and after they graduate from the program. And what we want to know is, is a student's score after graduating related to their score before graduating? And if so, can we model that relationship? And the answer is yes, we can using linear regression. Now let's jump into Excel and see how we can build this model. You'll see that I've already gone ahead and calculated the correlation, which is very strong and positive at 0.94. And I already created the scatter plot as well with before as the independent variable and after as the dependent variable. And again, you can see a very strong visual relationship between the two. So how do we find the line that best fits through these points? Well, all we need to do is right click and add a trend line. It's that easy. And we can even scroll down and add the equation for that line as well. Close this, move this down here. So what does this mean? Well, if we look at the slope, which is also known as the coefficient, it's very close to one, it's 1.03. So that means that we can infer that for every one point that a student gets above the average before the program, then they're going to get one point above the average after the program. And we just need to add 41.63 on top of that. And that's how you can create and interpret a linear regression model in Excel. Now let's try and make some predictions. So we want to predict the student's employability score after graduating using their employability score before they entered the program. Now we created the linear regression model and equation using a scatter plot. Now let's use some Excel functions to make those predictions. So for the y-intercept of our regression model, we can use the intercept function. And it's important to feed it the y's first, so the dependent variable, which in this case is the employability after and then the x values, we get 41.63, which is this right here. And for the slope, we can use the slope function, again, known y's, known x's, and we get 1.0326, which is this right here, exactly. So if you wanted to make a prediction, let's say, what will be the employability after for a student that got 200 on his employability before. Well, we can grab this, which is the x value, multiply it by the slope or coefficient for that x value, and then just add the y-intercept. And we get a prediction of 248.1. Or we can replace this with the forecast function. Now, this simple forecast function is available for earlier compatibility. You can use this. It does use a linear regression model. Or you can use the forecast linear, which is the same thing. I'm going to use this one. My x value to predict for is this one right here. These are my y's. These are my x's. And again, I get 248.1. And we can continue to predict for any value in this range. So 105, 380, and we get our prediction, which is roughly our before plus 50, and that's simple linear regression in Excel for you. If you enjoyed this video, check out my statistics for data analysis course at mavenanalytics.io, where we have plenty of other courses on Excel, Tableau, Power BI, Python, SQL, and more. Hope to see you again soon.